Hey you, today I've seen some Mitten Squad news that you might be interested in. Now, as you probably know, Paul has unfortunately passed away. And in these subsequent months, his family has decided to maintain his channel, so we can continue to enjoy his videos. Otherwise, the channel would have just been lost by account inactivity. But the news are... A lot of people have reached out and asked for another plushie campaign. And, uh, there is! And this is possible because the company that did it is open to doing it again. So, if you're not familiar with how it happened, it's pretty much crowdfunded. So, on the 8th of March 24, another campaign will begin. The only prerequisite to make it a thing is 200 orders. But no matter how big it becomes, those orders will be fulfilled. That's just the minimum. So, if you've missed your chance to get a forklift barbarian plushie, no, no you didn't, here's your chance. Just don't forget that they need at least 200 orders before the manufacturing. So obviously that's way before delivering, though it is the same company and they have delivered before, so if you want it, just have patience and it'll get there. By the way, you got like two weeks, maybe three at best, I don't know. So if you're interested, keep that in mind. There's no link for it right now, but 8th of March 2024, late morning, USA time zone, and a bit of googling will have you the right link. I'm assuming and hoping it's the same one that Mitten had, because they have a channel page for each creator, but I'm assuming it's gonna be the same one instead of a new one. Either way, I'll just pin a comment if need be. In fact, I'll do it either way. Oh, and to be exact, this is gonna be the first plushie, the one without the bomb in the hand. However, if this one works out, the other one will also be available later. And by the way, this is not marketing, this is just, you know, people have been asking for it, his family has agreed, and this wouldn't even be happening if that company hadn't agreed either. And who does all the manufacturing and deliveries? That company, so it's highly understandable. Also, in case it wasn't obvious, there was only two plushies and the one being redone is the one that sold the most. That's all. Also, and this is just my personal uh, take that I want you to really consider. And by the end of my reasoning, I think you'll understand why I feel this way. You see, on the public announcement, they said they have no clue yet where the proceeds will go. And they don't owe it to anyone, to anything, including charities. My opinion, they don't. In fact, uh, I've lost family members myself. I don't need to tell you that funerals aren't free. And this feels kind of dirty to say, but come on, as a community, can we just... <sighs> you know, quote-unquote, refund it to his family? Damn, man. I mean, may this reach everyone that cared or that missed the chance to get it, but wouldn't it be cool if we could just give them a little bit more than they spent on that? Ah, shit. Sorry about my lack of composure. Uh, <coughs> did you know those campaigns that Mitten did uh, sold less than 1300 plushies on one and less than 800 on the other? Because I've heard never challenge the internet, but... Hello, internet. How about we uh, smash that combined number? 2100! It shouldn't be hard if we spread the news to people we know love his content or that we've heard that they've missed the previous opportunities to get those plushies. 
Also, I mean no way, shape or form affiliated to Mitten Squad or his family, I'm just some guy. I really enjoyed his Fallout and Skyrim challenges, I stumbled upon this Reddit post and uh... I also really believe that if we bother Bethesda enough, we can make Mitten an NPC on Fallout 5. I'd love that. Plus, why not? Let's do it. And that's it, I guess. Also, I'm neither a news or drama channel, so don't bother subscribing for updates on this. Just bother, you know, the follow challenge really big YouTubers so they can cover it as well. Let's spread the news. 8th of March onwards, 2024. <laughs> Obviously, I've got no clue on the prices. Although I guess it should be around the same it was, I don't know. I will pin a comment with the link to uh, the store he had set up and I'll update it if for some reason it'll show up elsewhere. Same site, but account, you know. Oh, and don't forget, 200 pre-orders is the minimum for manufacturing to begin, otherwise it won't happen. But if it does, there'll be at least another one. For the uh, other plushie, the one with the bomb on its hand. So, whichever you prefer, just know that not only is this ongoing now, it also implies future stuff. And who knows what the future might bring. And I imagine, but I don't know, if we could bring enough people that were inspired by Mitten Squad, the big Fallout challenge youtubers that would be up for it maybe we uh could ask and see if a charity live stream is possible even if it's a one-off thing i've seen that mentioned as well in the subreddit but who's to know and it would probably be a lot of work but if everyone came together who's to know and that's it, that's the video. Rest in peace, Joseph, is known as Paul from Midden Squad. I hope you know that your content has inspired more people than you were ever aware of, because some of us fuckers like me just don't interact ever with videos. We just watch them. Thank you.